So when you see Zion, that's, that's talking about the nation of Israel. Right? It says, he will no more carry thee away unto, into captivity. It meaning what? Esau. He will no more carry us away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. Right? He says he will visit thine iniquity, meaning what? He's going to punish you for your iniquities. O daughter of Edom, out of woman. The Edomite is red, man. Esau. It says, O daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins. He's going to uncover your sins, which he's doing now. You know? We finding out all these uh, Edomites are pedophilias. They're frauds. They are they're uh, they're uh, sodomites. They're molesters. They like little children. We we finding out all that, man. We, the skirt is being uncovered on you, devils, man. You're low life scums, man. The whole world don't like you. They hate you. You the whore. There speaks about in Revelation 17. And all the nations hate you, man. You know? And it says, uh, let's check this scripture out. This is Isaiah 40 and 2. It says, Speak ye comfortably, comfortably to Jerusalem, to the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, man. Speaking comfort to them. The comfort comes from the scriptures. And cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, right? That her warfare is, is basically ended. It's about to end. You at war against this Edomite, man. That's another problem Jake got. You think that you and you're not at war, but you at war, man. The scripture said you at war, you at warfare. Right? It says that her iniquities is part. Your iniquities is part, man. Man, you about to be let go of this slavery, this imprisonment. You about to be free. It says, for she have received of Yahweh's hand double for all her sins. So you receive, you receive double, man. You got your punishment, man. And you got more. Because the Lord allowed Esau to do what? When you read in Zechariah 11, chapter the fifth verse, they afford, they afford the afflictions, man. Meaning they did way more than what they were supposed to. And the Lord allowed it, man. Because Israel, are, you are, 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 are hard-headed. You're stiff-necked and hard-headed, man. You don't want to hear, you don't want to take heed to the counsel that the Lord is putting down. The Lord told you that oh, when I first started reading, man, in, in uh, Proverbs the first chapter. You don't, want to, you don't want to hear the reproof of the counsel, man. You know? Back in Ezekiel 35 and 6. Therefore, as I live, it said the Lord, right? When he said, therefore, as I live, so that's like an oath, right? It says, said Yahweh, by Hashem was shy, I will prepare thee unto blood. So the Lord is getting ready to make war, right? Which is going to be a, a bloodbath and a slaughter, man. The Lord is getting ready to let blood, blood flow. And blood shall pursue thee, right? Vengeance is coming. He's going to avenge the blood of the saints, man. Who are the saints? The nation of Israel. When you read in Romans, first chapter, seven verse, it tell you who the saints are. Then it tell you uh, in uh, Psalms 148 uh, and 14, it tell you who the saints are. Right? So he's getting ready to let these angels 
get busy and pour out these vials, man, on this planet, man. He says, therefore, as I live and said, Lord, Yahweh Shai, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Right? So, since it, what it's saying, since Esau, since you have delighted, right, in the in the shedding of blood, and you've thirsted after it, right? You've been drunk with it. You've been drunk with, with shedding blood, with killing, killing our people, slaughtering our people. You know? It tells you in Psalms 83 that y'all gonna make a council. See how y'all can make Israel and, and to be in no more remembrance. So y'all enjoy killing the Israelites, man. It says, I'm gonna read that again. Therefore, as I live, said Yahweh by Shimao Shai. I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, since you have not hated the blood shed in other Israelites, right? Blood even shall pursue thee. So the blood, blood is you shed blood, right? So it's only right your blood gets shed. Uh, read this Revelation 13. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Right? If any man have an ear, let him hear. Uh, uh, you have an ear, it means understanding. You know, let him understand what the scripture is about to say. It says, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right? It says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So who led the Negroes and Latinos and the Native Americans into captivity? Spearheaded by the so-called white men and them Arab, Ishmael, and the Hamites, man. Led us into these captivities. So if you lead a man into captivity, you should go into captivity. That's only right. An eye for an eye. Scripture tell you ain't do the running. Eye for an eye, man. So it's only right that we lead the people who led us into captivity into cap captivity. It says, he that killeth with a sword must be killed with the sword. So who killed us with the sword? Esau. So he must be killed with the sword. So the only way you're gonna have remission of sins is through bloodshed. Blood gotta be shed. When you take over, when you take over, or you conquer an empire, nobody gives up their empire without a fight, right? So yeah, Esau is going to fight, and the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to have a, a beautiful time killing you Edomites along with the angels, man. He going to put it on you to fight, pursuing uh Second Ezra the thirteen chapter. Y'all going to be in the land of Harmagad, one the land of decision, fighting against each other, and the Lord going to make you turn and fight against him. You know. It says, he that deleted into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So the patience and the faith of the saints. And I'm going to read to you who the saints are. So you know what it's talking about. This is Psalms. Book of Psalms 148. Psalms 148 and 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, right? Horn meaning the strength of his people, the dominion, the power of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise Yahweh. So even a people near unto him, man. So the saints are who? The Israelites, man. That's who the saints are. That's that's when you read that scripture uh, back in Revelation, man. The patience of the saints, man. We waiting, man. We wait patiently on that day when the Lord comes back and we can get ready to get some get back on Esau. We wait patiently for that, man. You know? Says Leviticus 10 and 3. Then Moses said unto Aaron, This is 
is it that Yahweh spake, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me. And before all the people, I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. And who, who was that talking about? When you go back to the first verse, it tells you who they were speaking of. And it came to pass on the eighth day that Moses called Aaron and his sons and the elders of Israel. That's who was with Moses back there. And it was Israelites. Those are the saints, man. The Israelites, man. That's plain, man. So when you read Revelation 13 and 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, the patience and the faith of the Israelites, man. And to go further, the elect of the Israel. Here's the patience, and the faith, and the patience of the Israel, the, the elect of Israel, man. Because if you're not part of that elect, you're not patiently waiting on to uh, to kill Esau with a sword. You want to join hand in hand, like Proverbs said. You want to join hand in hand and walk in peace with this devil. You want to just get along. You want to you want to live next door. And look up and look over your fence and speak to him. You know, you want to share peanut brittle with the ass and shit like that. Smile and laugh at jokes that's not even funny. You want your kids, you want your kids to, to take on that Martin Luther King spirit. The little white boys and, and, and uh, white girls playing with black boys and black girls holding hands. Y'all took on that spirit, man. But it said, he that leads into captivity, you shall go into captivity. He that kills with a sword, you must be killed with a sword. Must, man. When you look that word up, must, must, M-U-S-T. I'm going to look that word up. It said you must. I'm going to look that word up, must be killed. I'm going to look that word up, must. God, I'm right here in Revelation. Killed. You say you must be killed. 11, 1163, the Greek word is die. De, uh, be dela, dela, die. 